Now there's something new about the DreamTech Dream H12 Pro that's different from other wet dry mops. And that's gonna be, it comes with the self cleaning and self drying station. So the mop pad itself is gonna be drying instead of just having for you to remove the brush roll and dry it your, on your own. It also gives you edge to edge cleaning design. So it's gonna have the edges on both sides being edge to edge instead of just in the front. Let me explain to you why the Dream H12 Pro is so modern and what makes it different from any other wet dry vac on the market. So let's check it out. It gives you a quick menu and this is very well packaged in my opinion. So you can see the well package in here. It gives you all the instructions, packing list. You get a storage box, cleaning base, handle, main body, spare brush roller, cleaning brush, and a replacement filter. So this handle is more heavy duty. It's not, it's made out of alloy. It's not just plastic here. This will be the body of your wet dry back. You have a cleaning solution sample. This is that innovative scrubber floor brush. It is edge to edge, edge to edge. There's no gaps there. It's gonna be your user manual. And these are gonna be all your separate accessories. do our first test. First test is going to be with just regular milk, half, maybe half of a cup. That is half a cup of milk on the floor. Look how easily it picks up this milk, but also it's great for things that are dried on the floor as well, in case you have dried milk. Next test is going to be our most difficult. It is going to be straight Oatmeal, a test that a lot of people in the hydro revolution complained about. We're gonna use a good amount of oatmeal here. So we have a good amount of oatmeal. We're also gonna use oat milk. It's a little bit stickier than regular milk can be. We're gonna stir, ready, set, The great thing about the Dream Tech is how easy it is to pour everything out. The top just comes off completely on its own. So then you could just spill everything out. So after using the DreamTech H12 Pro for two weeks, we have some observations. First, if you're thinking about propelling this, this will push itself. You don't have to really push it. It does all the work for you. Second, because of the larger clean water tank, you will find that you can pick up bigger wet messes. But because of the size of the dirty water tank, you will also find that you have to empty your dirty water tank more frequently. And that's just because, well, you're adding more solution, you're picking up the solution off the floor, 
But the things that I really enjoy using with the DreamTech H12 Pro is for large messes. For large messes is where this shines the best. Because of the height here, or the small height here, or basically just this plastic cover up top, it is almost the entire brush roll is in constant contact with the ground. It is also no areas for the, you know, food or any crumbs to kind of just crawl inside and crevices to crawl inside, that makes it more difficult to clean. So cleanup of your dream tech is very easy. And because of how this is created, you know, you can see how easy I can pop off all of the components, including the brush roll itself, which is basically part of the spinning motor that's gonna be rotating this brush roll to 520 wipes per minute. If you wanna place it back, they thought of everything. You just have to push it in, not very difficult at all and clip it back in. Again, edge to edge here, there's no big gaps on either side. If you're looking at the bottom of your dream tech, this is what it looks like. There's a little, there's a little like rubber or silicon sheet here. That's gonna ensure that everything is getting picked up and going inside of this dirty water tank. When they don't have this, you can have water or solution just trailing and then coming to the back of your wet dry vacuum. The wheels are standard affair, they're rubber, pretty light, but this is easy to maneuver because of the lightweight. DreamTech does recommend not using the drying function in a humid environment. However, I find it works well pretty much everywhere because it's a warmer air and make sure to clean your brush roll if you're gonna be using the self-drying mode because it's adding heat. So if your brush roll is not clean, well, it could definitely smell. And if you see this in action, especially on things like a kitchen floor, or linoleum, or other types of tile, you notice that it not only does well on the tile, but also does well between the tiles. And because of that edge to edge performance, and because of the larger dirty water tank and the hot water tank, you're gonna find that the overall performance is very good. You don't have to empty the dirty water tank as much as you would do on a crosswave or other devices, especially because the catch up top in that dirty water tank basically catches all of the solid particles. So it's not just extra weight inside of your dirty water tank. Second, if you look at the sudding, it doesn't over sud, which is important, especially on these units, because if you have too much suds, you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have to empty that tank all the time. I do love how DreamTech put timers on everything so you know exactly when to expect ultra mode to finish, drying mode to finish, and all the other modes to finish because they put a timer on. So that is our review of the DreamTech S12 Pro. Please hit that like and subscribe below. It really supports our channel. And if you have any questions on the DreamTech, leave it in the comment section. We will get back to you. But except for that, thanks for watching everybody. This is David with the French Glow showcasing to you another great wet dry vacuum. This is really wet dry vacuum season. I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.